Way back in the 1880s, drinking straws were made out of ryegrass. Marvin Stone concluded he hated the gritty residue left by ryegrass straws as they broke down in his mint juleps. Determined, Stone made his own drinking device by wrapping strips of paper around a pencil, then removing the pencil and gluing the strips together. Stone went on to use paraffin-coated manila paper to improve the durability of his straws, eventually owning a patent for the design. Forty years later, while watching his daughter struggle to drink a milkshake through a straight straw, Joseph B. Friedman placed a screw into the straight straw, wrapped dental flaws around the ridges, and removed the screw. This transformed the straight straw into a bendy straw, patented in 1937. Both iterations of the drinking straw were made of paper until people figured out how much more durable plastic straws could be. The new era of plastic straws gave birth to new inventions such as the crazy straw. Crazy straw! <laughs> <laughs> Funtime International is the current manufacturer of the Crazy Straw. The original Crazy Straw was a glass blower's mistake. Kids got a hold of the mistake, thinking it was fun to drink out of. The Crazy Straw, of course, was made of plastic when it was brought out to the market. Eric Lipson, owner of Funtime International, also had a patent on Crazy Glasses, a sipping system you can wear on your face. These were a huge hit. Other straw innovators focused on what's inside the straw. The Magic Straw contains flavor beads that dissolve as liquid passes through. Kellogg's introduced a line of cereal straws in 2007, with the idea being to drink milk through a tubular Fruit Loop, Apple Jack, or Corn Pop. However, the paper straw is making a comeback. Aardvark Paper Drinking Straws designed a modern age paper straw, which is a combination of paper and glue to increase the straw's durability in liquid, but still allow the straw to break down in landfills.